capacitors A and B are connected to a battery of D volts with switch S closed. Switch is now open and the free space between the plates of the capacitors is filled with the dielectric constant K. Find the ratio of the total electrostatic energy stored in both capacitors before and after the introduction of the dielectric. So in this question, they have given us two capacitors A and B. So in the first part, the battery um, is uh, V volt and the switch S is closed. If when the switch S is closed, you can see that the potential difference across both the capacitors A and B will be the same. So let us calculate the potential energy of the first capacitor. So UA will be equal to half into C V square where they have mentioned that both are identical capacitors. So let us mark the capacitance as C only. Similar way UB the potential different across B is V volt only. So the energy stored in V will be half C V square. So the total initial energy will be equal to UA plus UB. So we will add these two. So you will be getting it as C V square. So this is the initial electrostatic energy stored in both the capacitors. Now let us see the second part. So in the second part, we are introducing a dielectric slab between both the capacitor plates and we are opening the switch S. So we will see for each capacitor the electrostatic energy stored. So for the capacitor A, we can see that the capacitor is still connected to the battery of V volt. So we can say the potential drop across the capacitor is V only. And we are introducing a dielectric slab of dielectric constant K. So the capacitance of A will become, new capacitance will become K times C. So the energy stored in the capacitor will become, UA will be equal to half C. C is nothing but KC into V square. We remain the same. So you will be getting half K C V square as the electrostatic energy in the first capacitor A. Now for the second capacitor B, we can see that the switch S is open. So and after that we are introducing a dielectric constant of K value. So the potential across the capacitor B will become V by K where K is the dielectric constant and the capacitance of K uh, B capacitor B will become K times the initial value. Now we can calculate the potential electrostatic energy stored in the capacitor UB will become half into KC that is the capacitor value and the potential difference is V by K whole square. So you will be getting it as half into C into V square by K. This is the electrostatic energy stored in the capacitor B. So the final electrostatic energy stored in both the capacitor, we can add these two. So you will be getting half K C V square plus half C V square by K will come. So in this half C V square we can take outside and within the bracket you will be getting K plus 1 by K. So this is the final energy stored. Now uh, the question is find the ratio of the total electrostatic energy stored in both the capacitors before and after the introduction of the dielectric. So this is the energy stored uh, before the introduction of dielectric slab and equation 2 represents the energy stored after the introduction of dielectric slab. Let us take the ratio of these two before and after. So ui by uf if you do it, what will you get? cv square divided by half cv square into k plus 1 by k you will be getting. So you can cancel the cv square. So you will be getting 2 divided by k plus 1 by k. So if you simplify further you will be getting ui by uf will be equal to 2k divided by k square plus 1. So the ratio of ui is to uf will be 2k is to k square plus 1. This is the answer.